Randomizers have become pretty popular, but I haven't seen anyone attempt the Stardew Valley randomizer yet. Almost every important item and upgrade in the game has been randomized. This includes tool upgrades, skill levels, buildings from Robin, any key items, and seeds. Yup, from the start we can't buy any seeds from Pierre or Joja, and we'll have to find them. This will make completing the main goal of every community center bundle much more difficult, since we have no idea where any of the items and upgrades important for progression will be. The items and upgrades are randomly scattered throughout the world at various location checks. Checks are the actual locations in the game where we can receive a random item reward from. These include the actual buying of tool upgrades or buildings, gaining skill XP, traversing mine floors, and many other important milestones. The randomizer logic ensures we can obtain everything needed to complete our goal, but since it's random, who knows how long it'll take. What if a blueberry is required for a bundle, but the seeds are locked in floor 100 of Skull Cavern, and the Skull Key is locked behind donating a pumpkin whose seeds are locked in the quarry dungeon, and the bridge repair is locked behind a purchase from the wizard, and the magic ink is locked behind fishing level 10? It's all random, but that's the fun of it. And if that wasn't enough, you'll notice I'm starting in summer. Yup, seasons are randomized too. And it's not like I'll finish summer and move over to fall. I'll have to actually find the rest of the seasons as items. So if I don't by the end of summer, we'll just repeat summer over again until we find a new season. So without further ado, let's begin. We'll become more familiar with the randomizer as we move along, and I'll do my best to explain everything. For my first try at this, I went with the default archipelago randomizer rule set, which included some starting items like an iridium band, sprinklers, and 5000G. Thankfully, we get some sprinklers so we don't have to water our crops. And yes, I am animation canceling just because it's a habit now. But we start off with some wheat seeds, and seeds are another thing that are going to be randomized. I think meeting everybody counts as a check. Also, every time we level up is a check. And when I say checks, I mean like an opportunity to receive a random item. We also say we're starting off with some money. That's just the default. I left it at that. Got a whole bunch of spring onions here. And look at that. We found the fishing level, which was from level one foraging. So if you look here, we leveled up our experience to level one foraging, which is being tracked, but our reward was level one fishing. Now the rewards could be like a pickaxe upgrade, a mine elevator unlock, a random item. It could be anything. We just so happened to get a fishing level as our reward. But either way, there should be a lot of complexity to this. So I'm going to take the typical path for meeting everyone here that I did on my original min-max run. Sam we can meet later at the Joja Mart, I think, but I'm wondering if there's any other checks we can get. I think we go over to Pierre's, we can buy the pack upgrade, which isn't actually the pack upgrade, of course. So we'll see that in a second here. Ernie, where's Caroline at? We gotta meet her. We got all this starting money, so this is just a free check right here. 2000 G, but what are we going to get from it? We got a progressive hoe. So how the tool upgrades work is the next day in the mail, we will receive the copper hoe. Of course, buying the upgrades from Clint are just going to be different random checks then. Don't know where Dr. Harvey is right now. Sometimes he stands over here. Yep, I think we can head over to the Joja Mart, meet Shane, Pam, and Sam. Let's talk to Abigail first. I guess this first day will be pretty normal. I think we'll start to see more effects of the randomness like in a couple days. I will be skipping over days, of course, because I think that's kind of part of the point of the randomizer. We're not worried about min-maxing like I usually do. I don't think Morris has anything for us here. Oh, but I should have shown at Pierre's. That's eh, all right. But yeah, Pierre isn't actually selling any seeds. We have to unlock seeds as an item, and then he'll be able to sell them. That should be interesting and make it a lot harder to actually reach the goal of completing the community center. As you can see here from Clint, these are the normal upgrades, like they'll require five copper bars and 2,000 gold, and then so on and so forth. But you can see our copper axe upgrade is actually a progressive trash can, so it'll get us the trash can upgrade. The watering can upgrade gets us a fishing rod. Pickaxe upgrade gets us a combat level. Hoe upgrade gets us a watering can upgrade. The iron hoe upgrade gets us a farming level. And this gets us a mine elevator unlock and the mine elevator unlocks will be they're like progressive so every one you get you get five floors on the mine elevator and then i think cutscenes are also randomized so we got a magic rock candy apparently we'll probably have to save that for full cavern or something but it's an interesting reward we can donate our first artifact here 
But yeah, all the rewards we get the next day in the mailbox. I think Elliot comes up here eventually. Of course, we can't meet Sebastian until like 6 or 6.30, something like that. Here's Evelyn. But yeah, doing this quest is actually important because it'll get us a location check. And we'll get something random from it. Hopefully something good. Alex is in his room, so can't meet him yet. I don't think we met Emily yet. Talk to Gus real quick. Now, I could buy some stuff potentially, but I think it's probably more worth it to save money for like things that'll get us checks. Again, we're not worried about like playing the days optimally. We just want to get to the goal. But essentially, it'll end up being like a puzzle to solve because we'll need certain items found at random locations to like for, for example the community center we'll probably need like crops and stuff but those are hidden randomly behind like leveling up or buying upgrades and whatnot so should make for an interesting experience there's robin but of course the opening cutscene counts as meeting her got another artifact we can donate. Again, all of the house upgrades and buildings are actually checks, and we'll receive them as rewards from other random checks, so it's a bit confusing, but makes for a lot of fun. And the good thing about randomizers is you can play them multiple times and have a different experience each time. But we might as well use up the rest of our energy, and then we can just sleep early. We've got good luck. Not that it matters too much, but Hopefully this fishing level will convince you to leave the Burger King. Here at Jojomar, blah, blah, blah. Don't think that's important. Oh, we got the copper hoe from that. So yeah, all of the checks we got yesterday will receive from the mail. And they do it like this because in other worlds, like people can get the items for us. And if we just randomly receive them, it'd be kind of weird because we have limited inventory space and all that and the way the game's day progression works. I think this is just the only way they could have made it work. Got a magic rock candy. We can go see Willy now for the fishing cutscene, but we'll notice that we'll not get a fishing pole. That's randomized as well, so. But we might as well get the check while we're down there. We'll need some wood and stone for a coop upgrade, barn upgrade, and that'll get us random checks. We've got our progressive axe, which means an axe upgrade, essentially. To get the fishing pole, we'll have to get lucky and get it from some other method. But once Willy unlocks, we can buy what is normally the training rod, and I think that's a check for a different random item so we'll see about that in a second here traveling merchant thursday so i guess the traveling merchant is randomized so i think what this means if i'm not mistaken the traveling merchant can now be accessed on thursday so maybe it's randomized in that way um we got a star drop as the training rod purchase if you just noticed that right there yeah robins is closed right now there's really not any other checks i can get unfortunately so I'll probably just go to sleep. We'll use up the rest of my energy here because that way I can maybe get another forging level. Of course, every time I level up, that's a check. All right, so day three is rainy. So it is kind of like, unless we just got lucky, but obviously day three of starter is always rainy, but I don't know if it'd be different because of the randomizer. We've got our X upgrade, save on energy when clearing the trees. Go a little bit quicker. Also got a star drop, so maximum energy increased. We don't have the fishing rod yet. That's going to be a random unlock, so can't go fishing like I normally would in a starter run. So I guess for now, we'll just chop trees, use up the rest of our energy. Hopefully get to like foraging level two. I believe that the XP multiplier is doubled because that was the default setting I left it on on the randomizer. So we should be leveling up a little bit quicker than you normally would. And level two foraging was actually a foraging level. So that means we have foraging level one now. Uh, that's a mining level. We got a resource pack. So yeah, that's another thing that's randomized. The next day from the mail, we'll receive 30 basic fertilizer, which is kind of useless. I guess there might be some better rewards we'll potentially get. All right, pretty much out of energy, so let's head up to Robin. She should be open now. The shipping bin costs 250G, and we get a stable out of it. We need 150 wood, but that's definitely worth it for a stable. I'm not sure how the buildings work yet, but I guess we'll see that soon. We need 75 stone, and then we get wheat seeds. Now, the wheat seeds are what we started off with, so we don't, like, need need that right now. The stable upgrade gets us a combat level. Flame Hutch gets us traveling merchant on Mondays. The silo gets us a mining level. The shed gets us the coop the mill gets us artichoke seeds the fish pond gets us a combat level the barn gets us a star drop the coop gets us a farming level and the kitchen gets us potato seeds so it's a interesting variety now i wonder if these quests are randomized like if we complete them they count as a check i don't 
think there's any other checks I can get. We used up all of the energy, so let's go to bed. We did unlock the first foraging level. Hopefully tomorrow's a sunny day, then we can unlock the community center. Yep, it is sunny. And what do we've got here? We've got our level two foraging. We've got the resource pack and stable. I'm gonna head out to Robins and maybe we can get a stable on our farm now. I'm not exactly sure how that works. All right, Robin, you have the stable. Nice, free stable. Put this right here. Yeah, let's sleep. Those wheat seeds should grow pretty soon, hopefully. What luck do we have for the mines? We have neutral luck, that's fine. Got our cat, and our wheat is grown, so that should get us a farming level, maybe? Let's see if we get anything. We did get a foraging level from level one farming. What we really are looking for is a fishing rod, or a pickaxe upgrade, that'd be cool as well. I'm gonna craft a chest for the mines real quick since we still haven't found our pack upgrade. I definitely think the foraging rate has been turned up. Usually you can't find this many forageables. Yeah, look at all these. Of course, all of these like XP multipliers and I think there's a friendship multiplier. All of these are just because otherwise Stardew like takes a long time and the pacing of the game is supposed to be paired with other games you'd connect in the archipelago multi-world. Oh, this cutscene should get us something, but I'm guessing the sword is randomized and we won't have the sword. We got the magnifying glass, oh boy. But yeah, right now the elevator will not be working. Our inventory's full. Let's Go back up and place down this chest. I don't want to be wasting precious items. Wow, is the geode rate turned up or am I just lucky? And of course we didn't get the sword, so we're gonna have to just swerve around all these enemies here. The slimes are especially annoying because of that slowdown. At least they don't do a whole lot of damage. Just want the staircase to get down. That's all I'm asking for here. Come on, can't tank the slime damage forever. Yeah, doing the mines without a sword is kind of hard. Oh, there we go. We still got two more levels to traverse. Right, we got yam seeds, which is a fall crop. Of course, the elevator we have to actually unlock. So right now, if we traverse another five floors, I believe we will get a reward. But as you can see, we got to level five and we can't get back down there. So that's another thing that's randomized, the elevator floors. And I'm going to see if we can activate that community center cutscene real quick. I think we have to do it coming from the bus stop. So let's head back there. We don't have any seeds we can plant. I don't think we can even buy any seeds right now, if I'm not mistaken. Let's swing back by piers and see. But yeah, there we go. We got the community center cutscene. We're not going to sit through that, even if it makes us get to the community center without using up any time. Not min-maxing today, but we should get a letter from the wizard, the mail tomorrow now. Now we can talk to the wizard, and then we can start working on the bundles, which will be the goal of this game. Drop off these artifacts, and we got a traveling merchant discount from donating three artifacts, it looks like. Maybe the traveling merchant will end up being pretty good. Uh, I forgot to check on Thursdays, the day we end Locked the traveling merchant for. We'll have to remember that um, next time. We'll open these geodes here. Got a few more things to donate at least. We'll need some copper bars before we can get any of these. Mine elevator would be nice. All right, we'll donate these. We got a farming level. Now, there was an option in the archipelago settings to turn on friend sanity, which means every time we get a heart with someone, it would be a location check. I left it at default, so that was just turned off, but for another time, that could be an interesting thing to turn on everything. So every artifact we donate, every time we get a heart with someone, and every fish we catch are all included in the randomization. But for today, we're just keeping it basic, even though I wouldn't call this randomization basic. Now, what do we need to progress we need seeds really we don't have any way of making money obviously i could like clay farm if i really wanted to but we're not gonna do that in this run not in spirit for this randomizer we got a magnifying glass so we can get secret notes now i guess i don't know if those will be random checks or not we got yam seeds let's go ahead and talk to the wizard first because we have to do that. But I think the cutscenes are checks, so I think if we talk to them, we'll get an item. We got a movement speed bonus. 
I didn't even know that was a thing, but apparently we can get little upgrades like that. And that will be a noticeable difference, actually. So that's cool. Yeah, it's 25%, so that's a noticeable difference. Yeah, so you can see, it looks like for the bundles, they are randomized, but they are related to that bundle. So like the summer crops are still summer crops. It's just not the typical community center ones. I think there was an option to do everything random, but I went with the default, which was just the themed items, but still randomized. Don't even have the shipping bin yet. So that's quite annoying. Can't just ship off random stuff. I think if we get two more pieces of stone, we can get the the well from Robin. So that'll be a check for something. I forgot what it was, but hopefully, hopefully it's something that'll let us progress. And even if we just sleep through the rest of summer, I believe the seasons are random items. So I think it'll just restart summer. So we need to actually find the other seasons as items. So that'll be fun. All right, we're back at floor five, but obviously the elevator's broken. So can't really use it as a checkpoint yet. We have to actually get that as an item. Oh, we got progressive mine elevator. That's good. That means we can actually have level five as a checkpoint now. We have a few more swings. Can we get lucky? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just pass out most likely, although we're gonna lose money. So I probably don't wanna do that. Can we get lucky? Nope. At least we have the ability to go to floor five now. Actually, I'm just gonna pass out because I really don't feel like walking all the way home. We'll lose like 200 G, I think, but that's fine. Worth not having to walk slow like that all the way home. All right, let's see what we've got now. Let's see, we can craft a furnace now. We got the beach bridge from that, so that should help with getting a rainbow shell at the very least, because that was something we need for a bundle. So I guess we might as well go down there and check that. We'll start smelting copper. Still don't have any seeds to plant. Um, I don't see a rainbow shell yet. Oh, it's gonna be the next day that that bridge is repaired. Because everything we get, we get the next day. Having the horse and that movement speed bonus really helped. Glad I got those early. Slay six screen slimes. That would be easy if we actually had a sword. Um, yeah, let's just drop off the stuff in the community center to clear out some clutter and then go to sleep and hope we get a rainbow shell. I'm not sure what other checks we can really do. Don't have a way to make money since we can't plant any seeds right now. Alright, what do we get for this? We got a resource pack, 10 clay. That's not that great. Honestly, I should wait until it's a good luck day to try to get some progress in the mines. Yeah, the thing that I love about randomizers is just every time you do one, you play the game in an entirely new way. Like, we can't farm, we can't fish, we can really do whatever we can. Like, we can mine, we can check for the beach forgeables here. If we get a rainbow shell, then we might progress by getting a random check from the community center. It's like a big puzzle, and it gets even more complicated when you set up a multi-world with other people. That'll be fun when I get around to doing that. Let's just drop off what we can at the community center. Alright, Willie, really take my everything I've got here. I think it was the well we get wheat seeds. So next day, tomorrow, we should be able to start buying those from Pierre. Alright, so we can actually make it down to floor 5 now, and hopefully to floor 10, and then we get two checks, because we get the check for every five levels, and we get a check for the treasure chest. Pretty sure, at least. I'm guessing the treasure chests have got to be included in the randomization pool. There's no way they're not. And that gets us to floor 10. We got progressive mine. So we got actual floor 10 from getting to floor 10. Vanilla. We got a mining level. So we can get back to floor 10. So that's nice. Don't have a whole lot of energy, but we might be able to make it to floor 15. Get another check from that. Not going to waste energy on the rocks here because we can get down this way. You know, who knows? Maybe the first fishing pole is hidden behind like, I don't know, farming level 10 or something crazy like that. I think Archipelago does like balance things out. So early game items should be more accessible from the start. It is still randomized, so we could just get unlucky. All right, we got a magic rock candy from floor 15. That'll help with like school cavern later on, but I don't think we want to use those just yet. Uh, I don't know if I should do another five floors or not. I don't think we have enough energy, but we can try. I really just want the fishing pole or the sword. Ooh, here's a bunch of copper. I think we can craft a bomb. That'll save us some energy. Ooh, these guys are gonna be really annoying. 
we don't have any way to defend ourselves. What are we supposed to do here? I think I have to... Nope, we got a ladder. Just hope there aren't any more bugs, because without a sword, those guys are really hard to deal with. The slimes and insects here, we can just walk around, but those bugs, they come right at us. Don't have any healing items. Uh, oh well. We have something to eat upstairs, so we'll at least not be walking this slow anymore. But can't get to floor 20 just yet. I think we have a few more things to donate to the museum, so maybe we'll get another check from doing that. We got progressive barn, so we get a free barn tomorrow. We might be able to start planting wheat seeds at the very least. Alright, we're not going back to the mines until we have a super luck day. Alright, so we can complete the construction bundle, which I believe is in the crafts room. And we got a gold clock. We got the gold clock on the ninth day. Hooray. I mean, that's really not useful for anything. If anything, it's probably more harmful because we want trees and stuff to appear on the farm. So probably just going to ignore that. I'm guessing we'll have to go to the wizard if we want to build it anyway. Got to keep checking the beach for rainbow shells because we can complete another bundle by doing so. Hey, we got a rainbow shell. That'll get us another check. Donate that. We get a bus repair, so we'll be able to go to the desert tomorrow. I think we'll still need the skull key for the skull cavern, but maybe we'll get some more checks by going to the desert. No clue. Oh, fishing rod. Okay, we want to do this. We definitely want the fishing rod as soon as possible, but I think I'm going to start with getting the mine elevator. Can we buy wheat seeds yet? Maybe from the Joja Center? We can buy, okay, that's interesting. We can buy 50 wheat seeds for 400 G. We'll need them for some farming XP to get checks from those. Oh, I don't have sprinklers. And we don't have farming level to craft sprinklers either. Plant the wheat seeds now. And I don't know if the wheat seed will, well, if they get us farm XP, we'll get checks from that and then we can sell it for a little bit of profit. We'll chop down a few more trees. We'll need some more wood at some point. Oh, we got progressive fishing rod from level four foraging. Oh yeah, I forgot. We got the bus. Today it's a super luck day, so let's do the mines today. We got our gold clock. Hey, we got the training rod. We're gonna bring the scythe, because definitely need that to fend off against bugs, even if it doesn't do much damage. Yeah, the scythe does not do nearly enough damage to take out these guys fast enough, so we're kind of screwed. Just got level 3 mining, which got us another elevator unlocked. We need one more floor. Of course, it's the spiral floor. Oh, we got a diamond. Oh, the ladder's down there. At least we know there's a ladder. All right, and we should get two checks from this because there's a treasure chest. We got a foraging level and we got a mining level. Got the mine carts repair. That's nice. That'll save us some time getting back and forth from the mines. Got a farming level. It's us closer to sprinklers, at least. We can't get back to level 25 because we haven't gotten the progressive mine elevators for that. But we might be able to still get another two checks from floor 30, so it might be worth it to go down there. We're just gonna damage tank the bug here because I think that's all we can do. That makes sense to waste our time with our scythe to try to slay it. All right, they're really starting to deal damage to us here and we don't have any way to heal, so we're gonna flee. I don't think there's anything else we can do, but I'd rather not lose any items, so let's just get out of here. Yeah, we really need a sword. And tomorrow we should have the minecarts, which will be nice. Might be worth it to make a second furnace now, but we'll go ahead and fish and see what we get here. Got another magic rock candy. I'm sick of the magic rock candies. I already have two of them. Don't really need them yet. All right, we'll catch one more fish and then we're out of energy. Got three brims. Probably used in one of the fishing bundles. All right, we'll head to bed. We got the minecart upgrade, so that's nice. Got a few levels here from just random checks. We got the sprinkler finally, so that'll be nice to use. Let's see what happens at the luau today. I feel like a spice berry is probably a better ingredient to add to the luau, so we can do that. Well, there's some bubbles right there, so that works out nice for us. Although my inventory is full now. I guess we can clear some space by going to the community center first, and then going back up to fish. And then if we need, we have that chest in the mines that we can use as well. The bubbles are gone now. Unfortunate, but it's okay. Start fishing and hopefully get a few fishing levels and then that way we'll, I don't know, maybe get a sword finally. 
We want as many perfect catches as possible because that'll get us even more XP. But with the training rod here, we can't really get higher quality fish and we can't get like rare fish or whatever. There's like a pool of fish that are excluded with the rod. But we can get the next fishing rod upgrade, I believe, from Clint. One of his upgrades there, one of the copper upgrades was a progressive fishing rod. So once we have 2000 G, we can get that. I can't reach the bubbles, unfortunately. I wonder if the largemouth bass is considered a rare fish. I won't be able to catch it here. Definitely the sturgeon. I'm sure I can't catch the sturgeon with the rod here. All right, we got traveling merchant stock size. I think I unlocked the traveling merchant for Thursdays only, so we can maybe check that out today. I don't think there's anything locked behind friendship progression, so I don't think the luau will really help because all it does is get us some friendship levels. We'll check the trailing merchant stock real quick. I don't know if the festival is going to affect that at all. Got a cutscene here. Do we get anything from the cutscene? Nope. I guess only storyline cutscenes are considered checks and will get us an item. We've got orb of slope detection. Huh? What does that mean? Um, no idea what this means. I don't know if this means we get a shed for buying this or we get something called an orb of slope detection. I have no clue, but anyways, we have nothing important from the traveling merchant. It would be nice to unlock like, I don't know, some kind of seeds other than wheat seeds. Start getting a little extra money. I mean, we get money from fishing now, but I don't know. Go with the luau. All right, anything from Pierre here? I'm guessing the other festivals, the star drops will be considered checks. I don't know, let's put in our chub. Not bother talking to everybody because we really don't care about friendship here. First time I've gotten the average response. Still don't have the shipping bin. We have wood. I'm gonna craft another chest now. Start getting a little more organized here. More like item type items in here. Alright, I think the goal right now is to get money for a Clint Copper upgrade and then that way we can get the progressive fishing rod, get the next fishing rod level and start catching quality fish which will help make us some money. Apparently spring onions spawned during summer. That's strange. I'm sure that's all out of sorts with the randomizer. We're gonna wait to go to the mines until we get a super luck day. Got stock size for the trailer merchant and I guess that's about it there. Don't know if we can donate any of those. We're gonna sell the diamond to Clint, sell the topaz, Still, we won't have enough money. I don't know why the wheat's taking so long to grow. It should grow in four days. Well, I guess it's only been a couple days, but that's fine. Just do mainly fishing today. Probably want to go back up to the mountain lake. We got... Oh, we can... We can get Elliot a grape. That shouldn't be too hard. Definitely should be one in the forest somewhere. I am curious to see what happens when we get to the end of the season. I think it's just going to repeat summer since we haven't unlocked a season yet. The seasons are randomized. Got everything but a grape. Might as well take advantage of these bubbles right here. Don't know if there's any more river fish we can catch. Who knows, maybe we'll get something from a treasure chest. Need 2000 G for the upgrade from Clint. That'll get us the next fishing rod. Inventory's full. I still can't believe we haven't gotten the pack upgrade yet. That's supposed to be with the settings, I think it's supposed to be, you're supposed to get it early, but still haven't gotten it. All right, we're gonna, I don't even know. Let's go sell the fish to Willy, unless any of these can be used in bundles. Looks like they're all used in bundles. Who knows, maybe we'll be able to complete a bundle and then get another check from that. We're really scarce on money. We don't have any way to make money. We sell all of this junk. We need 2000 G and then we can, where is it? Oh, fishing rod here. Yep, the watering can upgrade will get us the next fishing rod level. And then we'll have the basic rod, which will be able to actually start craft or catching quality fish instead of these base quality fish. And then maybe make a little money from doing that. A little extra money. Okay, we can buy wheat seeds, although it looks like Pierre sells them at a pretty limited stock. Catfish can only do in spring, unless we do it in the secret woods, but it has to be raining. Midnight Carp is only fall or winter. I think Red Snapper might be only fall when it's raining. I don't think we can complete any of these bundles immediately. I guess let's just fish some more. Really the only checks fishing will get us is fishing levels. It takes forever to get fish here. 
I still don't know if the training rod can catch the largemouth bass or not, but I don't think that was a fish required in a bundle anywhere. So I think honestly we're just going for XP, get the next couple of fishing levels, and then maybe we'll get some good checks from those. Still need a sword. I could potentially get some more checks by going deeper in the mines, but it's really annoying to do without a sword. So I have no idea if we can get one beforehand or what that's going to entail. And still don't have the shipping bin either, so we have to actually go to Willy's if we want to sell our fish, which we probably should. And then we should get enough money for whatever upgrade from Clint that'll get us the next fishing rod. We gotta do that before 4 o'clock if you close that 4. We'll do one more fish. We'll swing back around by the farm. Oh, we did get level 3 fishing, which unlocked amaranth seeds. Amaranth seeds are in fall, so those are useless for us right now. So, we need 5 copper bars. I wonder if I actually have to bring the actual tool to Clint to get the upgrade. Do so just in case. I believe it's the watering can upgrade. So let's bring that. Geodes just for the heck of it. First to the beach. Hopefully we have enough time to do all this. Fish don't sell for a whole lot when they're not like quality fish. Alright, Elliot needed a grape. That got us. Oh, so doing the help one quests will get us checks. And it looks like this one got us five beach warp totems, which isn't really that useful. Alright, we're gonna sell all of this. I don't know, we just need a little more money and then we can get the next fishing rod level. But with all of this coral and stuff, we should be good. We can sell this to Willy right away. And damn, that's a lot of coral. It's gonna make us a good amount of money here. Alright. Sell all of it. We can finally get the next fishing rod. Five copper bars for the watering can upgrade, which will get us the progressive fishing rod. So tomorrow we should have the new fishing rod. That'll be nice. Can we still open geodes? Okay, yeah, we can still open geodes. That's nice. Ten iron ore. That's decent to have early on right now. Probably take the minecarts back. I should probably pay more attention to the help wanted quests, because the one we did for Elliot did get us a check, so we might have to do those. Wow, there's so many forgeables appearing. I feel like they turned that up a little too much. Eh, might as well water these. Wait, it's really not going to make us a whole lot of money. I refuse to play farm in the randomizer. See what rewards we get in the morning. This wheat's ready. Alright, we got the amaranth seed. We got five beach warp totems. We got the fishing pole upgrade. That's nice. And we can... Harvest the sweet, maybe get farming level. We got we got boots. Boots from level two farming. Still no shipping bin, so I have to go to piers to sell all this sweet and plant this. Keep forgetting that Robin still has a barn for us, so we can actually go construct that whenever we feel like it. Forget what's needed for the silo, but we might be able to construct that. Eh, we'll stop at the community center, why not? Yeah, all of the bundles here are randomized as well. They're still like in theme with what the bundle actually is, but the items are not the vanilla items. Gotta wait a little bit. We'll fish for an hour and then see if we can get the silo. I... Oh, I think we need clay. I didn't bring clay, so we can't do that. Yeah, I'm 100% I'm sure we need clay for that. That's fine. We can do that later. Now the fishing bar is... Small, so it's going to be a little bit harder to get perfect catches, but at least we'll get the quality fish. Yeah, because we only have fishing level 1, and of course, actually fishing isn't going to level up our fishing. We're just going to get other random checks from it. And that's a loss right there. Oh, this one might be the sturgeon? I'm not even going to worry about the treasure chest. Don't even know if catching the sturgeon is needed for anything, but we'll see. Honestly, this might just be a largemouth bass. Yeah, that was the sturgeon. Okay, that's cool. Two magma geodes. Yeah, we'll take those. Uh, what do we get rid of here? I shouldn't have brought all this stuff. Probably the spice berry. Yeah, we need, I think, ten clay for the silo. I really just want the pack upgrade. That's all I'm asking for. So I guess Pierre randomly will sell the seeds that we unlock, because we definitely unlocked wheat seeds. But as you can see, we they're not here right now, so I'm guessing random whether or not he is selling them. We can get another something from Clint, potentially. We sell these to Willy. Neither of them are needed for bundles. 
Oh, it's Saturday. I feel like Willie is closed on Saturdays. I bet that's randomized as well, the mermaid pendant. I guess once we actually get the second fishing level, most likely we'll get the check for the fiberglass rod, which can be just like a random item. We don't want the progressive trash can. We want a combat level. Probably not. I guess we'll go for the water and can upgrade. And then we can open these geodes. Six artifacts was the milestone. Got a combat level from that. Oh, still no sword. That's really all I want right now. I think we have enough clay for the silo. Although now I don't know if we have enough copper bars. I'll check what the luck was real quick. If it's super luck, we'll go to the mines and try to some progression there. And good luck. We can still go to the mines. Yeah, because we need more copper. Don't need the scythe. Well, actually, since we don't have a sword, probably the scythe is the closest thing to that. Forgot that we have the desert bus unlocked, but I don't know if there's really any reason to go to the desert right now. We haven't gotten to floor 25 yet, so that should be another check for us. If we can get the floor... 30 we'll get two more checks i still think we need plug meat for a bundle so let's play those guys and then maybe get a gem here i think we already did oh we got an ancient seed so we can donate that wonder if donating the ancient seed we actually get an ancient seed or we get something random i think this floor has all the crates oh no they're gone yeah it looks like i already got the floor 25 so we have to go to floor 30 if we want anything new 30 basic fertilizer. Ooh, nothing good there. Not even a chest here? I don't know if we'll be able to make it to floor 35, but we'll try. Okay, one more floor and we can get a check. Junimo hut. <laughs> um, that's interesting. I don't know how useful that is, but it's there, I guess. All right, we have to leave because we're out of energy. I don't even know what would be good at this point. Some actual crops we can plant because we still only have access to wheat seeds. Yeah, I definitely want to wait for super luck days to go back to the mines. Oh, we got those leather boots. That'll help a little bit with damage tanking. The watering can upgrade. I bet these quests will get us random checks. I'll also see about this ancient seed. See what happens. It got us progressive mine elevator. So it is randomized and we don't actually get an ancient seed. All right, we need a puffer fish. Puffer fish, I think, have a really small time frame between, like, noon and four o'clock. Because the puffer fish can't even catch that until, like, noon, so we have to kill some time anyway. I can't get more wheat seeds now, so I guess it's just random when he'll sell it. Alright, fishing for real this time. I wish there was a way to see, like, how much XP levels we have, because our fishing level is only one, like, the effects, but like the amount of XP we've gotten equates to like, I don't know, fishing level four or five. So we can safely sell all of this here and then get back to fishing. Even if we get the puffer fish, it's a hard one to catch, so I don't know if I'll even get it first try. We got kale seeds from getting level four fishing. So basically, we have enough experience for level four fishing, is what that means, and then we unlock a random reward for that, which gets us the kale seeds, but obviously we can't use those until we unlock spring. Yeah, getting some progressive fishing levels would be nice. Have a bigger bar. Okay, this is the puffer fish, maybe? Uh, it's probably like a tuna or something. Yeah. We can't even get, like, a lot of good things from treasure chests yet, because you need fishing level 2 to get a whole bunch of stuff. We did not get the puffer fish. Unfortunate, but... Catch a few more fish from the bubbles and then sell them to Willy real quick before he closes. Maybe get one more fishing level here. Maybe get some perfect catches. Maybe get a backpack upgrade from fishing level 5. Maybe, just maybe. Get out of here. So yeah, what will get us progression? Because I don't want to go back into the mines until I have a few more elevator unlocks. Although that might be the only thing that will progress us right now. Okay, we do have farming level 2, so that means we can craft a scarecrow. I just forgot about that. We should probably do that. This guy down here. What can we actually do? We can try to go for the puffer fish. Still don't have any seeds that we can plant in summer other than wheat. I haven't been to Robins in a while. After we get the two more copper bars, we should be able to get the silo. I forgot what that even gets us. It's probably not even a good check from Robin, but we can see what it gets us. 
maybe we'll get another farming level from this suite right here. Um, we got melons. Okay, that's actually pretty good. Farming level three unlocked us melon seeds, so we'll get those tomorrow. It should actually be a decent money maker. Oh, well, we can start the community center. Drop off our clutter. The silo gets us a mining level, which it's cheap, so we might as well get it. Forgot we unlocked the barn, so we can place this down. So at least use the rest of our energy to chop down trees on the farm here, and then we can go to bed. I don't know what checks are in the secret woods. I think there's the cannoli statue that's probably a check or something. And animation canceling on trees is real hard. Sometimes I can get it good, like almost. Yeah, level three farming unlocked us melon seeds. Um, so we can possibly buy those from Pierre now. I don't know. Let's go to the mines, I guess. But we still don't even have a sword, so the mines are just so painful right now. But I think we can get a few more checks if we do a few more levels in the mines, so might as well try it while it's a good luck day. Yeah, we only get down to 25 right now, and I think we've already made it to like level 30. I bet the way Archipelago is structured, they made it so that you can't get weapons from crates. Or else I feel like I would have gotten one by now, but who knows, it might just be unlucky. And of course, we could clear all the rocks on the floor and not even get a ladder. Well, um, we're not doing mines today, because there's no way I can defeat an enemy room with a scythe. Some kind of cutscene in here. But whatever it was, it didn't get us a check, so it doesn't matter to us. Right, let's buy all the melon seeds we can. Okay, this one might be doable. We can get a cactus fruit because we can access the desert. And then sea urchin and mussel we can get from the beach, so maybe we don't even need to go to the desert. Looking for a mussel or a sea urchin. Looks like we got none of the above. Let's go ahead and sell all of this. Plant the melon seeds. The randomizer gets confusing because it's like, what can I do to progress right now? Could potentially buy one of the vault bundles and maybe get lucky with something. Funny day, maybe we can get the puffer fish today. Also check by the Joja Mart and maybe they will be selling the melon seeds in like a big bundle. Yeah, so we can buy 50 melon seeds at once. And that uses most of our money, but it's an investment. Forging level 5 gained us 5 warp totem mountains, which, again, the warp totems aren't really that useful. Here's is closed on Wednesdays, so we're gonna just skip to the next day. Plant these real quick. So we really can't do any of the fishing bundles, unfortunately. This one could be doable, but we'll have to somehow slay bats, which I think I really need the sword. I think for now we just get us some money and then try to do the vault bundle. Okay, I think the geode was in Demetrius's bundle here, the field research bundle. Uh, we could potentially do this one if we get to the frozen floors. I think I already opened my magma geode, so we'd have to get lucky with getting those from like a treasure chest or something somewhere. It is still randomized, so you never know when you'll get it. It looks like the animals are vanilla and we just got a cow. And I think we got, yeah, we got an auto grabber and an auto petter. I think that was part of the starting bundle, actually. So we'll place them in here. Oh, wait, was that a, oh yeah, it's a, is it a baby cow? No, it looks like a, no, yeah, it's a baby cow. I haven't done Stardew with like animals in so long words. I forget what they look like. I thought that was a full grown cow. Focus on that for now, honestly. We found a luck bonus from level four. I guess that increases our daily luck permanently. And we still need a few more elevator unlocks until we can really get iron consistently. I think we were only at 25. And of course, progressing further will get us more checks, but they won't get us more elevator unlocks. All right, we're gonna sleep until those melons. I mean, I can do the sleep for multiple day function if I really wanna, but of course we have to manually water these ones, although it is raining now. Are there any quests we can do? Mm, yeah, I guess the melon will also get us a quest, so that'll get us the most checks. Uh, it is a super luck day today, so let's actually go to the mines. We do need to get from 25 to 40 in order to get like a bunch of checks and make it worthwhile. Don't know if we'll have enough energy though, that's the thing. But hopefully the luck bonus helps out. 
Either way, we need, I think, a few more pieces of bug meat. It's interesting killing the bug with the pickaxe. Never thought I'd be doing that. At the very least, more copper never hurts. Although I'm not gonna go out of my way for it, just because we need to conserve energy. At right, this floor, we might see a ladder. Yep, there's one down there. It's nice having the iridium band on the dark floors because of the glow effect. Got a farming level from level 5 mining. Did not get a check from floor 35. I must have made it down here already. Awkward. We have 28 more energy. Need to do three more floors here. Oh, we're getting pretty lucky here. We need two more floors. Come on. Anything? We're gonna pass out, but I'm gonna try. Uh, no, I don't think we're doing it. Oh, now if I find a ladder here, that'll save us. Please be an already spawned ladder. Don't see one. Yeah, that definitely backfired right away. Right, I think I've got like two more swings of the pickaxe before I pass out. Well, yeah, so it's definitely possible we can get to floor 40, but it's a bit tedious. It is another super luck day today, so I can try again. I guess bombs will help. We have the ability to craft a staircase if we really need to. Oh, I should have thought of that. I don't know if I had enough stone or not, but that could have been an option. Could use a magic rock candy. We have three of them. All right, attempt number two. All right, this floor's peaceful. There, at least there's no bugs. As long as I stay clear of that guy down there, but we already got a ladder. I should probably ignore the copper if my goal is to conserve energy. Although now we have the rock candy to use if we need. So we should be able to make it no problem. The golems are slow. They're much easier to deal with than the bugs on those earlier floors. Okay, that's good. If we run out of rocks and just have enemies left, we're kind of screwed. So we can't even use the elevator as checkpoints because we only have up to 25 unlocked right now. All right, the bats are gonna be annoying without a sword. Anything? Anybody there? Any ladder? Really doesn't seem like a super luck day. Oh, all right, there we go. And honestly, while I'm down to floor 40 already, I might as well try to keep going while it's a super luck day. 45 will be another check, and then floor 50 would be another two checks. I'm gonna do the magic rock candy now. Just as I did that. All right, we got a wood club, A, hey, Let's go. Uh, just as I used the magic rock candy, though, because we don't get it until the next day. But we got the wood club and a water obelisk. That'll be interesting. Again, not really crazy necessary, but... Yeah, we gotta keep going, because floor 25 is what we're at right now. But at least we can start getting iron. Although they take four hits to mine. Still no pickaxe upgrade. And these ones take three hits to mine, so that's painful. Okay, I regret using the magic rock candy now, but I have to make use out of it. At least get the level, I don't know, 45, flame for 50. But yeah, that wood club, that wood club's gonna come in handy. Got a slingshot, okay. That's really not too useful until we get explosive ammo, but it's something. Alright, we're on a we're on a hot streak now. We're getting a few good items. We're making it down in the mines. Almost have traversed 25 levels because we started on 25. Oh, there's a staircase up there. Let's get over to that and be on our way. Well, good thing I can craft the staircase. <laughs> or else we can't do this without a weapon. No way. Forgot, the magnifying glass was one of the random items we got, so we can get secret notes. I'm guessing the rewards for the secret notes, like that one was the bring the maple syrup to the woods. I'm guessing that'll get us a check. Cluster of iron ore here to blow up. And we get two more checks. We got ancient seeds. That's decent. Although I still don't know what the tr season transition is going to be like, but in combat level, I guess that's fine. Let's keep going while while we can. Well, it's gonna be a while since until we come back to the mines. Because if we can still only start at floor 25, it's like there's gonna be a limit to how deep we can make it. Unless we get like better tools. This floor has a guaranteed staircase, so uh, as much as the iron is tempting, I'd rather conserve our energy because we will run out of that. We do need a solar essence, but can't really so Ooh, got the next fishing rod level from the next mine floor check, so that's cool. I think that's the fiberglass rod now. 
Yeah, the magic rock candy certainly makes a difference. Okay, I changed my mind. I don't regret using it. Although, if I had the weapon, I would have been able to slay some enemies at the same time if I wait till tomorrow. But we would have had to wait for a super luck day, so in the end it works out. Eat the cookie just to get that out of the inventory space. I'm gonna be so happy when I find the pack upgrade. Ooh, it's a spiral floor. Radish seeds. I think they're summer crops. And we got winter- oh no! <laughs> this means at the end of summer, it's probably gonna be winter. What are we supposed to do in winter? We can't grow any crops in winter. Well, that's actually kind of a curse. Oh, that is what it is. But the the ancient seeds, because we, we just got the ancient seeds. The ancient seeds take 28 days to grow unless we speed up with some speed grow. But I don't think I have access to speed grow. And they won't grow in winter, so I don't really think we can plant them. Feels like we're not taking a whole bunch of damage, but I guess I did heal a couple of times. If anything, we're going to be able to get down one more floor. Oh, the scythe actually does a little bit of damage to those dust sprites there. Oh, I guess we have plus five attack from the magic rock candy, so that helps. But the solar essence will get us, I think, a check in the community center. And then maybe we'll get one more check from floor 65 if we're lucky. Maybe. Nope. That's okay. That was... that got us a whole bunch, so our mailbox is going to be full this morning. It's a bad luck day. Let's go ahead and check our mail. We've got the wood club. Hooray. Let's clear out our inventory because I feel like we're gonna get a bunch of items. But hooray, we got the wood club. We can actually do the mines as intended now. Check the rest of the mail in a second. Let's water our crops real fast. Ah, missed my stream. Stream of water, that is. Did it again. Probably should check on the cow in here. Probably not happy because they don't have food. Oh, I forgot I can let them outside and not have to use hay then. Been keeping it locked up this whole time. We've got the water obelisk. Let's go. Got a slingshot. Got ancient seeds. Combat level. Progressive fishing rod. That'll be good. Radish seeds, which I think we can plant in the summer, but they take six days and I think we're gonna progress to winter now because we unlocked winter. <laughs> Please take this winter, which we carefully procured from the mines floor 60 treasure. One traveling merchant stock size and that's just because I passed out. Hopefully those melons grow before the end of summer. All right, got some choices to make now. We need money, which we'll get from melons soon-ish. I think we can drop off this, and we need some more bug meat, but I think that'll complete a bundle. Now oh, I should really try to get that puffer fish before summer ends. We can do that today. So to the community center. Bug meat and solar essence. Ooh boy, we got 30 fiber for doing that. How nice. All right, well, drop off the coal while we're here. And what else? Chanter bundle. Interesting. Yeah, let's sell the wheat here. We have three summer seeds unlocked, although we're coming to the end of summer now. We won't be able to grow the radish. Still need a sea urchin and a mussel. Those were requirements for one of the bundles. So much coral. And the coral does add up. Of course, this amount of money compared to the min-max runs is nothing, but... Oh, the bubbles left right as we got over there. But we'll just fish outside of Willy's and hope for a puffer fish. Although, I gotta wait till 12 o'clock. Oh, got some bubbles over there. That'll speed it up a little bit. Just need a... Oop, oop, is this it? This might be a puffer fish. Puffer fishes are usually pretty erratic, so <laughs> hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. No, no, no. Stay, stay, stay. Come on. Come on now. Come on, come on. Oh, and we're all, we only have fishing level one technically. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, 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 no. Ah, that's unfortunate. I don't think we can reach the bubbles, unfortunately. Maybe if we stand over here? Although, we don't have a high enough fishing level to reach that far, I don't think. Okay, this guy is the puffer fish. Come on, come on. Nah, this is a tuna, probably. No, maybe. Oh, it's definitely a puffer fish. Definitely with a puffer fish. I spoke too soon. Ugh, puffer fish battles are intense here. Ooh, I think I gotta go for the treasure chest. I got combat boots from level 5 fishing. Don't really need armor defense. We've been perfectly fine tanking damage with what we have. But better than 30 fiber. I don't know why I keep trying to reach the bubbles here. Obviously, I can't reach them. 
Gotta go for the treasure chest, but don't want to miss the fish either. Ah, that one was close, but we got the treasure chest. There we go. Give me something good here. Nope, just some geodes. So puffer fish will, it'll only get us one check, but who knows? It could be something good like a pickaxe upgrade would be nice. Or honestly, I just want some fishing levels so that the fishing bar increases. I don't know where those are hidden behind right now, but that would... That would help out a whole lot. Suppose I could buy a trout soup from Willy. We've only got another hour until the puffer fish won't spawn anymore. This guy is either a tuna or a puffer fish. I think it's gotta be a tuna. This one was too easy. Yep, too easy. All right, got another hour here for the puffer fish. All right, last chance to get a puffer fish. Maybe, maybe just maybe. Ah, uh, this is a tuna or maybe not even. Ah, it was a tuna. All right, we'll, we'll sell them to Willy and then try again on the next sunny day. But we've only got five more days to do it. I think I've taken more trips to the community center in this run right now than I have in like my entire time I've ever played Stardew. But we'll purchase this. We got eight frozen geode, oh boy. Actually, that's not bad because I think one of these blacksmith bundles needed a geode. That was one of these bundles here. Oh, here it is, frozen geode. Uh, we can go catch a bream, I think, this year next to Elliot for a little bit. But we need a magma geo to complete that bundle, I believe. Uh, it's a super luck day, but we haven't got any more mine floors, so I really don't want to go back to the mines yet. Pretty fiber, woohoo! Some boots. Eight frozen geodes, and that's all. Yeah, probably better to just sleep until those melons grow. I'm gonna be really upset if these melons don't grow in time. I have no idea when I planted them, but it should have been a while ago. Let's go slay 10 slimes, because that'll unlock us something. I'm guessing the monster slayer rewards are checks. There we go. And <laughs> finally deal with these enemies. Feels good. <laughs> hey, we got 30 fall seeds. And we can start actually leveling up combat, get some more checks that way. Pickaxe upgrade would really be nice. Could be anywhere. I just need a few more slimes. Yeah, there we go. Hey, progressive pickaxe. That was worth it. There we go. We'll get the copper pickaxe tomorrow. We can go into the adventurer's guild. Or is that randomized as well? It doesn't open until 2, but from that sign, it seems like it's going to be randomized. But it was worth it for the pickaxe upgrade. All right, where are we going now? Go for the pufferfish. Oh, this guy might be it. All right, oh, no, stay, 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 no. But we're going to give the pufferfish to Demetrius, and it's going to be something completely useless. Like one of those traveling cart upper. Oh, I should, speaking of that, I should probably actually go check the traveling cart because who knows, maybe the traveling cart has a puffer fish or something good. Okay, this guy right here could be a puffer fish. Nope, it was a tuna. All right, anything good? Still have no idea what this means. Spectacles of darkness. But it gives us a discount at the traveling merchant, apparently. Well, there is a puffer fish here. I feel bad getting the puffer fish without actually catching it, but it's right there. Might as well just buy it. Uh, melons have still not grown. I'm gonna be really disappointed. Hey, we got the pickaxe upgrade. That's good. All right, come on. Come on, melons. Okay, these ones definitely not gonna finish, but there is a chance these ones will be ready the next day. Hello. Oh, uh, really? That's kind of crazy that the melons haven't finished. How, how many days do they take normally? Well, they're not paying it 12 days. That's strange. I swear I planted them before day 16 or whatever, but we can give Demetrius this puffer fish, get a reward for that. All right, well, that was a waste of money, those melon seeds, but I guess that's what I get for not paying attention to what day it was. Next season, we get summer again. That'd be great. I don't know if it's random, which next one it'll be. Newspaper is needed here. Oh, the puffer fish is needed there, but I'd rather give it to Demetrius here. Need an iridium bar for that. Need a fire quartz and an emerald. We might be able to get from opening geodes. Oh yeah, there we go. Let's go find Demetrius and get at least something for giving him the puffer fish that I've been hyping up so much. It's gonna be something useless, but who knows. All right, Demetrius. Here you go. We've got another magic rock candy. Oh boy. I already got in three of those before. I'm actually more curious to see if we start the next season in summer or winter because it should be random. I don't know if unlocking winter will guarantee we'll now switch to winter or not, but we'll see. Or melons. Oh well. It is what it is. 
Summer has... Oh, I get to pick which season? Oh, that is interesting. I guess I should pick Summer again so that my melons grow. Apparently it lets you choose which season. I didn't know that. We get Summer again and our melons are here. I guess that'll give us some checks to do next time. That's nice. So there's the first month of the randomizer. Let me know if you'd like to see more and I'll see you in the next one.